This is Evangelist George McTire of the Word of God Ministry. And on this uh, little presentation, I want to comment on something that President Barack Obama uh, said during the debate that he had with Republican Mitt Romney uh, last week. This t t Today is the day supposedly of the last presidential debate. Today is um, October the 22nd. The debate that uh, Mitt Romney and the president had last week brought up an interesting situation that is absolutely critical to every single solitary citizen, every individual that drives a car, or uses electricity or any of those any other thing that has to do with uh, energy and the point I want you to listen to very carefully now is pr the president's view on the subject of gas prices in this nation. I want you to pay strict attention to what President Obama says when the moderator had asked him via a person in the audience complaining about gas prices. Uh, Mitt Romney went about explaining the situation of the fact that the president's policies were not working because when the president took office gasoline prices were a dollar 86 or something like that per gallon and now they're up in some instances over four dollars a gallon and President Obama comes up and he makes this statement. Energy we need. Mr. President, could you address, because we did finally get to gas prices here, could you address um, what the governor said, which is if your energy policy was working, the price of gasoline would not be $4 a gallon well, here. Well, think, think about what the governor just said. He said, when I took office, the price of gasoline was 180 186 Why is that? Because the economy was on the verge of collapse. Because we were about to go through the worst recession since the Great Depression. As a consequence of some of the same policies that Governor Romney is now promoting. So it's conceivable that Governor Romney could bring down gas prices because with his policies, we might be back in that same mess. Now, there you heard it. Out of President Barack Obama's own mouth. This is not some... Uh, right-wing conspiracy somebody passing along here say the best evidence to uh, gauge uh, what a person is thinking is to hear it right out of the mouth of that individual right out of the horse's mouth you know the Bible talks about the fact out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and here we have President Obama essentially saying to every citizen in this nation that needs to drive to and from work that needs to uh, 
take public transportation like riding the bus or something like that to every small business not to mention big businesses and everything else from airplanes uh, down to your little uh, entrepreneurs and so forth we all have one thing in common and that is we have to uh, travel from one point to another point or we need to have uh, things delivered to us or somebody to take us somewhere via transportation that essentially uses gasoline and President Obama in front of the whole group of people that are listening to him in the at the location where they are and to the American people is saying that when he took office the gas prices were low like Mitt Romney said but then he turns around and says that the prices were that low because we were going into a recession and that if uh, Mitt Romney were to institute his policies and it is conceivable that he can get the gas prices down that low again that would be indicative of us getting back into the same mess that we were in when he took office going into a recession now <laughs> anybody after hearing that that has any inkling of even 25% of common sense would say this man has got to go because what he is actually saying is that lower gas prices which is what everybody in the nation is is, is uh, wanting to see happen he's saying no we aren't going to go back down to gas prices being dollar sixty eight even though we could because that would essentially put us back into onto the road to uh another recession what this man does not realize is that his policies driving up gas prices to over four dollars a gallon are what's going to guarantee us to go into this recession is going to guarantee us of more people losing their jobs because not that the jobs aren't going to be available but because of the fact people cannot afford to drive to their jobs because the gas prices are so high they can't afford to go shopping at retail stores to buy a lot of things why because the gas prices are too high people are staying at home uh, basically to the I mean they're getting to the point where they can't even uh, go out and on Saturday Friday night or over the weekend or something take a trip someplace go to Disney World or drive or whatever it is because of what gas prices being as high as they are President Obama if he if he is actually uh, believing what he's saying if we were to take him believing uh, you know that what he was saying is true then that means from the time, all right, I'm 66 years old. I was born in August 1946. What President Obama is saying from 46 
up until 2009, when he took office January 2009, when gas prices were 25 cents a gallon, 30 cents a gallon, on up until, I mean, you know, a dollar or so a gallon under Jimmy Carter and, and the like. All of those, all of that time from from the time that I was here up until President Obama took office was a recession. And now he's in office and he wants the prices gas to stay up to four dollars and some cents a gallon. And we got people out here in this nation diehards that doing everything they can to get this man re-elected for another four years and he's got ideas like this see evidently what he does not understand well I actually I'm gonna have to say this I don't want to say it because I don't believe President Obama is that stupid so if he's not that stupid then the only other explanation is this is a designed plan to essentially follow the uh, the fundamental uh, platform of the Democratic Party, which I have said time and time again, is to make America dependent on government because if people can't go to work if they can't afford to do shopping and things like that uh, people working in, uh, in in venues or places where people would go for entertainment or shopping and this that and another if people don't come shop then that means the people that work at those places are going to get laid off of work and if they're going to get laid off of work they aren't going to be able to go looking for jobs because they're going to have to have a car to go look for jobs. But if the gas prices are going to stay up at four dollars and so a gallon, then people aren't going to be able to go to work. Do you see? Do you see the absolute idiocy of how what the what the Democratic Party and evidently this president think he's dealing with? He 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 must think that we are just complete morons that everything that comes out of his mouth is the gospel and that he has our best interests at heart he does not in fact uh if it, it you know i you know i don't like to try to paint people as being idiots but this is exactly what uh, anybody that still supports the president after he made this statement. You can't take that back. There's no way you can take it back. And see what he's doing. Now I guess he figures, you know, if the oil companies are making all this all this money with the gas prices being as high as they are, then that would mean that if he can tax the oil companies then he, you know, if they're making all these profits and some thing, un, uh, obscene profits and so forth, if they're making all of that money, then evidently uh, they can afford to pay more taxes to help uh, uh, feed the poor and, uh, you know, you know, aid those people that are on welfare and, and things like that. Uh, his policies are not going to create jobs they're going to create government dependency then the only jobs that will be created will be government jobs sort of like what you had and I've said this before and a lot of people kind of roll their eyes at me but it is it's still the God's honest truth and that is uh, that's what Hitler did destroyed all the public jobs and things made everybody dependent on government so if you wanted if you wanted any type of a good life or something like that then you basically had to be a member of the Hitler Third Reich 
or or a friend of the Third Reich and so forth, informing on your your fellow citizens that were out trying to bring Hitler down and so forth like that, and then see you could get you could you could live a better lifestyle, and see that's what it's coming down to today. So if if you want to continue supporting this president and this absolute foolishness. I mean, I know people there all the time talk about the fact, well, you know, I don't have time for no foolishness. Well, if you ain't got no time, if you don't have time for foolishness, and after listening to President Obama, you you uh, you, you looking at it and saying, well, he knows what he's doing. Uh, we can't, we're going forward. It's, uh, we're going too far to turn back now. Guess what? You are the fool.